TikTok is the new Google, let me just say. It's not just the woman's job to be cleaning and putting up stuff. You can put your own stuff up too. Turn on your podcast and go grocery shopping. Damn, I guess God wouldn't be having no kid. Gosh darn it, I'm going to have me a so cure Sunday. Love her life. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Good morning, you guys. Happy sun Sunday. What am I talking about? Happy Friday. My brain is like mush today. I low key feel like my energy is off. I have anxiety. I don't know why. And also, I kind of feel a little sad, but I don't know why. It's probably almost that time. I think I got like a week left but i just feel real low energy today because like last night i did not sleep good me and my husband did not sleep good at all i don't know what happened but we went to eat hibachi so freaking good we finally found a good hibachi place down here and it was nice then we came home around 6 30 and we were like tired everybody in the house was tired we all took our showers and just chilled for the rest of the night fell asleep so early and it was so hot in our house last night i don't know why it was thunderstorming when we were eating at the restaurant like it was pouring down so when we got home you know it was kind of thunderstorming too it was like that because it's just warm outside i don't know but it was so hot in the house all night i tossed and turned my husband said i was talking in my sleep i never talk in my sleep but i just couldn't settle down or get comfortable so i'm thinking that's why i feel like this because my my body just ain't I want to get myself together today. And what that consists of, I really don't know. Gianni's still asleep because it's still early. I think I'm gonna wake him up, though. get his clothes on and get him together. So maybe we can go for a walk or we can go to the park. But I feel like I need vitamin D. I feel like I just need to be outside in nature. My house is not in order. I kind of want to do a reset today or tomorrow, which is Saturday. But Sundays, baby, Sundays are about to be my self-care days. I think this Sunday I'm going to do a self-care day and it's going to be a separate video from this. I just want to you know, be good and kind to myself. And on Sunday, if I want to sit in my pajamas all day, that's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. I want to have my groceries ordered and picked up by tomorrow. So I'm going to do groceries tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sunday, I don't want to do nothing at all. Holla if you hear me. Do you ever just feel like that? Just chilling on Sundays. I think my husband even said he's going to play basketball on Sunday. So yeah, if he gonna have his self-care basketball day, gosh darn it, I'm gonna have me a self-care Sunday. I think I'll start cleaning the house today and we'll clean tomorrow as well. Like just finish up. There's so much I have to do, you guys. There's so since we were sick this week, I haven't unpacked any of the kids' clothes. All my clothes are washed. I will say the dirty clothes are washed. I have to fold laundry. I have so much laundry. I'm just so behind. And maybe that's why I feel like this because I'm one of those people, like I tell y'all, I'm OCD and I just don't feel like my house is in order. So therefore, I can't. I just can't do what I'm supposed to do. And granted, my house is never really dirty because I don't like dirt. But I just have stuff everywhere. Like this. These are clean clothes right here, so ignore that. See? Just stuff. And it's really not even, you know, that serious. But to me, it's kind of serious because I can't operate like this. I don't operate. Now I think I'm going to gather up all the dirty clothes that's upstairs. I'm gonna wash this mat. Yeah, I'm just gonna gather up everything that's up here and probably get to folding clothes, but I need to make up my bed in order to fold my clothes. And actually, I need to wash my sheets on my bed. So, let's take this off. I'm gonna put this. My look like Tyler Perry. But she don't know me, she do do y'all ever feel like I'm feeling like you just get like overwhelmed and then like you're like what is going on? I do suffer from anxiety, untreated anxiety, and sometimes it just comes on. When I'm like that, cleaning makes me better because nothing like a clean house. And I, I really need to clean the house. I need to whoosh, Lysol this mug because we were all sick. 
this closet of ours, I really need to get it together. It's never organized. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start doing some Friday reset. Cause we gotta get some rules up in this house. Nothing to be done on Sundays. Sundays are a day of rest. Look at people already outside walking. I think today's gonna be a pretty day. And I want to be outside. I want to put on some flip flops, but my toes, don't look cute. I'm gonna bring all my laundry up here and just throw it on my bed so it's out of the laundry room. Downstairs, now this laundry, bring it back up here, and then we'll get to floating. Floating, what am I saying? We'll get to folding. I've been watching Love is Blind, I'm still kinda sick. <laughs> I, keep, I can't get into it, I can't, but everybody's been talking about season six, so that's what I'm trying to get into, so that's what we'll, I'll probably be watching. Oh child. Yeah. Fighting for my life coming up them steps. We're always close. intermission i'm still falling close i wanted to get y'all's thoughts if you watch love is blind i can't remember what the name of these people are because it'd be so many bitch if you watch love is blind you know what i'm talking about so it's she told him that she had a dog and he was like a little standoffish his reaction would make me not even want to continue to talk to him now let me ask you guys because i've been a single mother before do y'all wait to tell people that you have kids or do you tell people that you have kids like straight off gate if i was in their position i would tell somebody yeah i have kids i have a child i have kids i wouldn't wait to do that because i don't want to waste your time I, let's not waste each other's time let me just tell you i have a child if you can accept it cool if you can't kick rocks go to the next pod that's what i would, would start off at and just see which people were okay with me having a kid and which ones were not because then i know that uh, yeah we don't click me i've been a single mom like i said like when i met my husband he knew i had kids because we were friends on like facebook instagram all that anytime somebody's really approached me i feel like they know that i have kids me having kids has never stopped anybody from talking to me like i don't know what type of people they talking to let's be real it's 2024 most people have children in my opinion it's kind of rare to find somebody that doesn't have any kids kid or kids now when i was dating i had a rule i had a two children rule you can't have more than two children and that's okay if you can choose the rules that you want to choose okay if you want to date somebody that don't have kids that's fine me personally i don't want to date somebody that didn't have kids because they don't understand the sacrifices when it comes to oh well i can't meet up with you i have my child you know this is not this tripod keeps sliding down and i'm gonna have to buy another one is it sliding i don't know my eyes are just, but yeah that's my personal opinion i would stay away from the dudes that didn't have children because i felt like at times they were selfish and they couldn't understand that i was a single mom call me different but i did i stayed away from guys that didn't have children because they was gonna want more kids and i only had our money and i didn't want no more children at all but god bless me with gianni i told you i was on birth control with him i guess god wanted me having no kid but I was not planning on having any kids with anybody else. No. Mm -mm. After our money, I was like, yeah, I'm done. I don't have any kids. I would not talk to dudes that didn't have any kids because that means he wanted me to be his baby mama. No, we're not doing that. 
that. I don't want no children. Me and my husband, we talk freely about like just past stuff or whatever. Like we are not jealous whatsoever. We have conversations about people we've dated in the past or we've had them. I mean, we don't really talk about it now because, okay, I'll get it. Because we've been together for so long, but we used to talk about just different relationships that we have been in. And there was this dude that I would talk to on and off for years. He had already had one kid. He wanted to start like reconnecting and talking or whatever. So we started like re-talking and then he was like, yeah, I think I want to have another kid. And I was just like, oh, well, I don't want to have any other kids. Like I'm not selfish at all. I told him, I said, I feel like you should get with somebody that wants more kids because I don't, and I don't want you to resent me for not wanting any more children. Like we just didn't match up like that. And so we decided not to continue talking to each other. You know what, it's cool, no beef. I felt like I was honestly helping him out. Why would I get with somebody that wants children? Like I feel like I'm taking that away from them. Comment down below if you feel the same. Let me know what you think. But I've never had an issue dating anybody when I've had children. Y'all, I'm gonna have to order a new tripod because we can't keep doing this. We cannot keep doing this. Let's go ahead and order one. Cause baby girl is sliding like slip and slide records like y'all are just going down so slow it's hot up here now i have to go get gianni some cereal and then i have to finish folding clothes y'all we're making some progress if i look like a sweaty mess it's because i am a sweaty mess i think i told y'all gianni was up i don't know he's up he dressed he didn't have his cereal now his clothes i'm about to put on hangers because i try my best just to hang everybody's clothes up except for armani i'm trying to teach him he has to do stuff too so i will put his clothes on his bed and when he gets home he'll hang them up because i try to teach my boys that it's not just the woman's job to be cleaning and putting up stuff you can put your own stuff up too mm -hmm. everybody works together in this house we're a unit we're as one so that's what i'm about to do with gianni's stuff on here i always try to double up the pants because it just adds more room and of course shirts is single i'm almost done with the clothes i am gonna wash armani's bed sheets and stuff because he was the one that was the sickest he had the fever i have some stuff in the uh, washer right now but i've already thrown his stuff down the steps yeah i need a laundry look, shoe look, gianni did this himself period yeah. you gotta teach him young here do this one too Okay. Baby, I be trying to teach these kids. Okay, right there. Here. Put your own stuff up. Okay. Yeah, let me do this. I'm going to call my Mima and talk to her for a little bit. Y'all been here watching Love is Blind and I got a little hooked. I done got into it. Let's get to folding the rest. Oh, we're just putting all this other stuff up. Call me Mima. Okay. You can put them right there. Okay. Hello. I love that. Hey, Mima. Hey, baby. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good with you. Too. Just washing and folding and hanging up clothes. How are you? Mm. Y'all just chilling today? Yeah, I was trying to get everything clean since everybody was sick. I should have put you somewhere where no one could find you. Mansion out in sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas. You know a different environment. You got desires. I know. I know. I know, I know. But you got desires. You got desires. And I'm not a liar. You had me down on my knees every time I had to talk inside. I'm in an 80 and one of the twists. This is prior. I try to pay all your loans. I'll pick up you a job. I had to stand too close to the city. You had to be gone and we're living this life. I said, I'm off your way from this before I cock you all this ice. You wanna be my number one? You're not acting like the main thing. I let you play my number two. You barely made the second chance. I'm pushing somewhere where no one can find you. Mansion out in the sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas. You know a different environment. You got desires. I know. Self-control is never been a thing Don't think it'll help if there's a ring with a rod Where I'm from, they serve the soul to clean You come from a city where there's things with the rod How the fuck you keep so many seeds? How you going to be getting pushed to be filled with me? How the fuck you see so many beats? Speakers to them places don't go cheap I see it back in the church, remember we took it at first Get it, got you a wish. The bathroom is clean. 
clean. The bedroom is clean. My stuff is drying. Armani stuff is getting ready to go in the wash. Gianni's room clean. The other bathroom, I still have to do. But for the most part, upstairs, she coming together. Now tomorrow's Saturday. So I'm thinking tomorrow I can do the downstairs. I wanna clean out the refrigerator and mop my floors. That will happen tomorrow. I about did myself today. I didn't. I'll we'll probably go out to dinner again tonight. I don't feel like cooking. I don't know where we're gonna go. Possibly a Mexican restaurant that we went to with my husband's job. I'm gonna go ahead and start on Gianni's hair because I was supposed to do it yesterday and he laid down and took a two hour nap. The child don't nap at all. I wanna run to Target to get some stuff for my self care day that I'm gonna have. Am I gonna do it today or tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know. We gotta see what time it is. I think it's like noon. Let's go do Gianni's hair real quick. My boy got his hair done. Show me your hair, G. He looks so cute. Anyways, why am I zooming in? We're about to go to Target because I want some new pajamas. And y'all know how I love Skims pajamas. I cannot afford to spend $110 on a pair of pajamas. I just cannot do it. Let me back up. Kudos to you that can. I ain't even mad at you because them pajamas are literally the best. I was looking at mine today. They just fighting for their life. They are literally fighting for their life. I miss them button. They're just starting to look dingy. We just gotta let them go. Sometimes you gotta let things go. Gianni got a new booster seat, so that's why he's sitting right there. He had like one of those Cause bright I love booster seat. Because <laughs> he can reach over here. Yeah, it's a big boy seat. But we had that Greco grow with me car seat. I don't know, it was, it was expensive. But at the time, that was the only one that fit inside of my Jeep. When he was little, literally had it for five, almost six years. She did what she needed to do. And she's dirty and filthy. Yeah, you're not supposed to donate car seats, right? I probably recycle her. Can you recycle? I don't know if you can or not. Yeah, she's just gonna have to get trashed. I was researching pajamas last night because I was trying to find something that was like a skim do because I don't care what nobody says Kim knows what she's doing when it comes to her material and her fabric and I found this TikTok that said what the skims pajamas were made with and it starts with the M and I'm not even going to even try to say it because I don't remember exactly it's supposed to be real high quality TikTok is the new Google I went on TikTok and of course the girls had a little alternative for us the alternative is on Amazon but it's in long sleeve. I am not a long sleeve girl or pants. I can't sleep like that. I'm very hot. I told you we couldn't sleep last night because it was so hot. So I need shorts pajamas and I'm trying to be that person that wears pajamas and not large t-shirts because y'all know I love me a good oversized t-shirt moment. But then I saw that they had really good pajamas at Target and they're about $21. So I'm going to get a pair. We're going to see how they go because I need them for my self-care moment on Sunday. I told you I just want to put on pajamas and be chill. Have any of y'all tried the Foscara lashes and think they're worth it? Because I feel like they're at Target. I feel like like that whole kit kit is twenty five dollars, but is it worth it? Straight up, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Hey, yo, talk crazy on tweets. <gasps> they don't want it because I come to defeat. They don't want it. I, I can't justify getting this. It's twenty five dollars. I'm gonna put it back. I don't think I'm gonna get it. We are gonna get to things of pajamas. It's later in the day and I'm getting ready because we're gonna go eat, but I have to take a shower. I was being a bad YouTuber and didn't even vlog me being in Target really because I totally forgot to vlog until the last minute. I have been home for a while, but I've been on the phone with my homegirl Leona for like the past hour. What's up girl, if you're watching, we just catching up and chopping it up. I wanted to just show you guys what I got. I was at Target and I also went by Ross. I got these little slippers right here from Ross. They are a size five, six, but they fit my feet. And I don't know how they fit my feet, but they do. And I'm not gonna show y'all right now because my toes is crusty. But look how much I got these for. $1.99, period. I got two bodysuits. And they were $6.99 each. They were on sale. I got the black one. And it's a thong. We love to see it. And a gray one. And I'm about to wear the gray one, I think, tonight. And then from Target, I just got pajamas. So I got a black set with a little bit of pink trim. They're 
It's really soft. I don't know what they're made. Let me see. These are made with that M O D I L. I think that's that's what it's called. And that's what the skims are made out of. So she's giving the skims D U P E. I mean, she's soft. She's really soft for twenty one dollars a piece. So I did give me a black pair, and I got the gray pair. And I got a size medium. This is Stars Above Brain. Y'all probably not heard about this. And I'm just late to the game. I am definitely going to wash these. So on Sunday, they already ready. Anyways, let me get in the shower. Get myself together. I'm gonna need about an hour. Give y'all a little OOTD. This shirt, Ross. Got it today. Pants, Ross. Got them like three years ago. Converse platforms. Necklace, I told y'all I got from TJ Maxx. Cartier Levering is that Kate Spade bangle, that heart bangle that I got from TJ Maxx and just a Hermes inspired bangle from her for looks that I can't link. I can't link none of this. <laughs> Scent of tonight. Time forward. Love her life. So de Janeiro. Smells like Baccarat. And I'm about to put some of this Tom Ford oil on me because, yeah, who don't want to be shimmering shine? I don't want to get it on my clothes. Y'all, buy this. This smells so good. I've had this for two years and I wear it a lot. And look, she is still, she is still stealing. I'm gonna wash my hands. Look at my gray hair, y'all. This is just getting out of hand. Let me wash my hands real quick. It's golden hour. Kaja lip gloss. Keep telling y'all, y'all better get some. Which one is this? Milk tea. I'm saying I'm gonna take this jacket. My jacket I got from the Goodwill, which is. Mr. Calvin Klein himself. Don't watch me taking pictures, y'all, because I do not take pictures right. It takes me a long time to take a picture. Matter of fact, let's use the lens, buddy. We're just gonna snap a bunch of pictures. Download lens, buddy. That's what I use to take my pictures. Lens, buddy. It's free. It's free. Yeah. Saturday. I told y'all it's gonna be about business today. What I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? I told y'all I'm not picking up no groceries. I'm not doing not a nothing on Sunday, and I'm standing on business. It's currently 7:50 in the morning, and we're going to the commissary because we're getting our groceries for the week. And I ain't playing with nobody. My husband's going to play basketball at 10, so I was on him. I was like, "What we doing? What we doing today? When we getting groceries? Because I'm not doing nothing tomorrow. So y'all better use me today while y'all can. Y'all wore those pajamas last. Last night to bed they were so comfortable the only thing i will say that if you got a boot your little cheeks gonna be out because i got a size medium and my little cheeks is out i hope they don't shrink i will get a large i don't know if it would help i need like a large in the bottom and a medium in the top anyways we're going in the commissary we're gonna get these groceries i got my grocery list i'm old school baby i like to write it on paper pen and paper babes i want to scratch it out i don't know what we're doing today but all i know is i gotta do the bottom half of my house thank god i did the top half y'all saw we went out to eat last night to that mexican restaurant y'all it was so good i might have just been hungry because i didn't eat all day like i had told y'all that chimichanga was changa and yanni was tearing up his rice y'all he don't like meat like that like only certain things and so he got some some rice with some queso cheese on it and that was it and he wanted more i was like Maybe you need some protein. I'm trying to figure out like alternatives for him when it comes to like protein and stuff. The other day he said he don't like hot dogs. He said chicken is nasty. I don't like hot dogs. He will eat a cheeseburger. I don't like meat. Stop feeding this to me. He was like, why you put this on my plate? Ooh, maybe that's what I make for dinner is those flying Dutchman burgers. Cause them shit was busting if y'all haven't tried please try it i kind of want to go get a grill though if it's gonna be nice today i kind of want to grill out what time is it where my phone it's in here somewhere 
maybe we'll grill out today. And I low-key wanted to go get my feet done today, like a pedicure. Into who it's eight o'clock. Let's get up in here. I'm not about to take y'all with me, unfortunately, but we'll definitely do a grocery haul. Grocery haul when we get to the house. I went in at 8 o'clock. It's 8.53 now, so that's how long it took me to grocery shop. Y'all, yeah, I spent a lot of money in here. It is what it is at this point. Let's see. $376. I don't think I told you guys this. Like, when you come to the commissary and you do cashier checkout, you have to tip the ladies and or gentlemen that work here. They make money off just their tips. I tipped her $10 because this was a big order and that freaking cart was heavy. Normally I go to the self checkout. You don't have to do that if you're in the self, self checkout but I had too many groceries for me to be trying to do it by myself. You have to keep it on that weighted thing. All the groceries wouldn't have fit on that weighted. We're not gonna cook out today because it's freaking cold. Like the wind's blowing and the sun's gone now. So that's out of the question. I still need to clean out my refrigerator I haven't done that and honestly I should have did that before I went and got these groceries but it is what it is at this point one tip I would give y'all when it comes to going to the grocery store especially if you don't have your kids with you because this is a luxury to go to the grocery store without any kids luxury top tier i always turn on a podcast that's that's why i got my little thing in my ear i always turn on a podcast and i'll be in my zone like it's so relaxing turn on your podcast and go grocery shop. and most of my podcasts i listen to are hours that hour went by fast all right you guys so i cleaned out my refrigerator off camera because i'm trying to hurry though so the refrigerator is nice and cleaned out but yeah let's go through this grocery haul let's Go through this grocery haul. Did I warm this up? All right, we're back. We have a lot of groceries to run through. I'm not going in any particular order. You know how I do. Olive oil. I needed some new spices, so I grabbed ground cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, low sodium soy sauce. I got these sticky rice things that I love to get. I think I've showed y'all on my channel before. I have four of those. I got a pot roast pack. I'm gonna make pot roast tomorrow because tomorrow's Sunday. So we're gonna put it in the crock pot. Taco kit. I think I told y'all that everybody in my family likes soft tacos now. I like either or, it doesn't really matter to me. Gatorade, potatoes, bacon, sausage, my chuck roast that I'll probably get prepared today. I love these little jasmine rices. They go in the microwave. I eat them with like my salmon, yum yum sauce. I got these rice packs. So I got some Mexican rice to go with whenever we have taco night. One chicken flavored and one broccoli and chicken. Got two spaghetti sauces. I normally just get the generic brand and I doctor it up and spice it up a little bit. Pancake mix. Yahoo sodas, just drink it. I got two of these. Mac and cheese cup. I got some pistachios without the casings. Barbecue sauce. Pepper, minced garlic, and this is in olive oil. I've never seen minced garlic in olive oil. I love this honey ginger dressing right here. By this brand, if you shake it up, it doesn't look that bad. So good, this is what I have been eating like with my salad. Muffin mix because I try to make breakfast for the fam during the week. And I made like a loaf earlier this week and they tore it up. But I got chocolate chip and I have blueberry. Sour cream, heavy whipping cream. I saw I Am Shelly use this Chobani coffee creamer, but she had like a white chocolate one. They didn't have the white chocolate at the commissary. So I got the vanilla. Cinnamon rolls, cause we'll do cinnamon rolls one day this week. I needed some more vegetable oil. SpaghettiOs, carrots, green pepper, lemons and limes, celery, cucumbers i like these cucumbers i eat like two of these a day with one pepper i found a big onion for my flying dutch burger today green beans i think i'm gonna do green beans potato and potatoes with the chuck roast tomorrow chips 
Y'all, this rice is so good. If you ever want to make your at-home chipotle bowls, please get this cilantro lime rice. Bust it. There's the blueberry muffins. Spaghetti noodles, Jiffy cornbread, Pop Tarts for something quick in the morning for them to grab, Poison sauce, Banana Nice, Grapes. I've been eating this as like a late night snack, just snacking on some grapes. Couple avocados, tomatoes. My family loves tomatoes. We can eat them by themselves. Cream of chicken, just good to have in your pantry. Mrs. Butterworth. I love this girl. Tostitos. What? What did I just say? Pizza roll. Fries. Y'all, these fries are so good. If you put these in the air fryer and then put a little seasoned salt on them. Italian sweet sausage. When I cook my spaghetti, I put half of this and half a ground beef in it. Deli meat. Baby, why was this deli meat? $14? $14.72. Boar's head. And I'm not going to pick up this chicken, but I got chicken thighs and chicken wings. And I'm going to put that in the deep freezer. And I need to put one in a bag because it's got chicken juice coming out of it. Spinach. Oranges. And I got some blood oranges too. Some mushrooms. Corn dogs. Sometimes I crave a corn dog and I saw those and I haven't had corn dogs in a long time. I was like, I need it. I always feel official when they give me a brown paper bag. Sandwich bread, hot dog buns, hamburger buns, and my eggs are in here. Bottles of water. Cheez-Its. At Walmart, these Cheez-Its are like $5, baby. They were $3.17. A win is a win. Rich crackers. Like, adulting is real. You get happy when you buy groceries and it's a little discount. Adulting. That's what it is. Adulting. Reese's Puffs. Noodles. I know it ain't that healthy, but breathing the air in this world, eh? It is what it is. I have some ground beef in here. Y'all, this big thing of ground beef right here, $7.18. $7.18. And then I also got some of those ribs that I normally do. Wash his hands again because baby, I honestly could be a vegetarian or a pescatarian because sometimes meat just makes me cringe. Is anybody else like that? Like I can smell it sometimes but I'm not eating. Granted, that's why I've been eating a lot of veggies. My family loves these. It's something quick and easy in the morning. The last two bags. Garlic bread for spaghetti night whenever we have it. Stoke. One of my favorite coffees, hot dogs, cheese. If you like protein pancakes, I love this brand. From we got some milk. Everybody else in my family drinks regular milk. I drink almond milk. And we're done. Thank you for tuning in today for my grocery haul. Anyways, I'm gonna put all these groceries up, back everything that's sitting on my table over here into my refrigerator. Do y'all put your oranges in the refrigerator or do you put your oranges in like the pantry? Comment down below and let me know. So I'm gonna finish getting my house together. And then once my husband gets back from playing basketball, I'm gonna go get my toes done. All done and stocked up. I wanted to try my coffee with y'all for a second with this Chobani creamer. It's not dairy free and I normally do dairy free. I didn't know how much creamer to actually put in here because yeah, I don't know if it's sweet or not. It's kind of sweet. I'm gonna put a little more coffee in here. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. I just left from getting my toes done. I'm in my husband's car. Cause I did not feel like putting gas in my car. <laughs> That's so true.
drive with them. This place is called Kelly Mills. They did pretty good. It looks so good, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here only because we're going out to dinner with that girl. I told y'all I met down here. We're going out to dinner with her and her husband and her family and her kids. It's 2 17 now, and I just got some stuff I want to do. I wanted to redo my hair she hasn't told me what time dinner is gonna be and i'm thinking about going and redoing my hair because i want a side part i'm more of a side part person but then i'm like do i want to add that stress to my life and i feel very overwhelmed because I have so many vid videos to edit and I'm trying to make my videos real time but they're not gonna be real time and you know it is what it is I'm only one person I have so much footage I literally have so many videos to edit like three right now I had five and I got it down to four and now I have three more I'm just thankful that God has allowed me to keep vlogging and not be in a funk if you made it to the end thank you so much for rocking with your girl for this weekend vlog even though we're ending the weekly we're ending the weekend a little early i hope everybody has a blessed day remember everybody's pretty no matter what size shape or color and i will see you guys in my next vloggy vlog